G'day guys, I have Ravi Shankar and he is from the test team in the visualstudio.com um, or TFS, whatever you like to call it. Ravi, uh, you have some good goodies for us today. Yes, I do, Adam. Okay, I hope you included all my suggestions from last year. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them, yes. <laughs> so let's, um, I know there's a lot to do, but I'd just like to limit it to te uh, manual tests yep. and my favorite, exploratory tests. Absolutely. Now, I've heard good things, so I'm expecting a lot here. Oh, okay, oh boy. So <laughs> let's see. So one of the main things that um, we have is teams don't like to, well, especially agile teams that are under the pump all the time, mm -hmm. they don't have time to go through and make test plans and mm -hmm. test cases and yep. test steps and all those things. There's a lot of friction. Yep. If anything could be done to that area, which I'm, mm -hmm. I hope you've addressed, mm -hmm. And the exploratory testing, you know, most teams have not really got as far as they wanted in terms of, like, it's, it's, it's great, but there's friction in terms mm -hmm. of MTM and getting to that Correct. button to, say, explore and start yeah. recording. But everybody loves the promise yeah. of great, you know, people mm -hmm. hate dodgy bug reports. Mm -hmm. Good bug reports are awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, what have you got? So for that, uh, for those specific pain points, Adam, we actually so, um, sort of, a rethought exploratory testing, and we sort of categorize this as exploratory testing for everyone. Okay. Right? So from that point of view, uh, we remove the friction points, whether it's the acquisition, uh, not necessarily- What's acquisition? Uh, getting the bits in, getting the MTM Microsoft oh, Test Manager installed. Installing it. Install right, it. Okay. All of that stuff you don't have to go through. Right. Um, make it really simple so that, and make it accessible for everybody when they're actually testing the application rather than trying to install, get into MTM, go to a specific tab, or seven different steps that you have to go through to get to exploratory yes, testing. That's How right. do I sort of simplify that? That was a principle that we actually applied for the exploratory testing. So, can I guess? Click once? Um, almost there, yes. Okay. So, yes, All definitely. Right. So, what we have got is uh, we've got, um, just as uh, we talked about previously, Will mentioned about the extensions. So, we are going to talk more about uh, where exploratory testing is another extension on the Team Services Marketplace as well. Oh, Visual so Studio I just go to visualstudio.com. Yep. I don't have to install an update. I go and get an extension, and that's how I get your exactly. new bits. Oh, yeah. great. Exactly. Wow, and everybody in the team will then have it. Yep. Great. Exactly. How do I tell it every team I work with has it? <laughs> I have to do it so, per team. Right. Per okay. team, yeah. All right, yeah. cool. Yeah. So, okay. want to get take a look. Okay. So, as I was mentioning, um, this is the, the Marketplace, and you have an expert testing um, extension available which talks about what is available, what are the different capabilities and stuff, uh, a bunch of, and, and we are just starting out in preview right now. Um, and during preview, it's all free, so you can actually play with it and, and, and give, provide us feedback accordingly. I'm looking forward to that first one. I can capture screenshots. Absolutely, yes. Okay. So, um, so uh, all you need to do is click on the get started or install, okay. and then it automatically installs it for you. Okay. Okay. So because we are still in uh, beta, so I've got a one click here, mechanism where I have to go turn on. Um, so I'm just enabling this extension in Chrome. Oh, this is a Chrome extension. Yes. You haven't done click once. You've done a Chrome extension. Exactly. It's so even it's, better. Yeah. So it's a Chrome extension to start with, right. and that's what we are enabling. Okay. The moment we have Edge coming on board oh, for Edge extensions. Coming. Oh, that's so Edge right. also is going to have you going to be having right. an extension. What about Firefox? That's next on the Oh, list. another one. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry. I only yeah. use Chrome, so I'm happy so far. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so I've just got a Chrome extension. I've just uh, enabled that. And uh, that's about it, and, and that's your extension right there, right? So if I go start off and oh right, hidden up so, there. Yep. yep. Cool. And all I'm doing is I'm just creating my um, connecting to my Visual Studio account. Nice. And after connecting, I'm just picking up, let's say, the MVP Summit that we are here for. I'm picking up a team inside the MVP Summit. What's happening over here is it's actually um, getting the uh, the area paths and iteration paths for that particular team. Yeah. So that when I'm actually filing the bugs it's all automatically entered for you. So that's what I'm sort of doing here. So right. I've selected a, an account and yep. a particular team. Um, okay. Yeah, so I'm ready to do testing. Okay. So I'll start off the session. And you're it, recording what I'm doing now? Um, parts of it, not fully. So we'll okay. talk about other things. But uh, right now, I'm not having any background recording going on or any action log going on. Mm. But that's coming as well. Oh, right. Yeah. OK. So what are we doing at this point? You've pressed connect. So I've just started a session. And at this time, I'm just trying to do exploratory testing. You right? just record the URL I'm at or whatever. Correct, correct. So okay. And any screenshots that I take, they are automatically getting captured. And, and then I can annotate them. That's what we'll walk through. And that will be 
sent back against In, the work item? Yes, it's going to be sent back against the work item. How do I, I know which work item I'm working with? Uh, the, uh, the work item aspect is coming. It's not yet there. This is the first round. Right. But in the first round, all we have got is you've got the capability to take screenshots, annotate them, create bugs, and a little bit more that we'll actually walk through. Okay. So what I need to do is go back to my PBI, see what I'm meant to be testing. Yeah. Come back here For and now. start testing. Yeah. Okay. For now. All right. Cool. But going further, you can actually start from the PBI yep. and say do exploratory testing for that one. Okay. And it'll automatically load it up for you with all the context so that any bugs that you file will automatically get linked in. Wow. So that's okay. coming up. All right. Your usage of work of, you know, is is this creating test cases under the covers? Uh, no, What's it's it not doing? yet test creating test cases right. per se. So, so so with exploratory testing, not doing any of that. What we have in the MTM client, yeah. no, it's uh, it's not doing the right. test cases yet. Okay. It's just creating the bugs. This is the first version. We'll okay. go enable the test cases aspect as well. All that. right, let's go and do it. Okay, so we've good we've been getting good reviews about the surface. So let's I want to do the uh, exploratory testing of this surface book, right? So right over here, I see. Oh, this is nice. Mm -hmm. uh, but it would be great if I actually have a rotating image here, for example, right? right? So if for that, let me take a screenshot here. Can we call this a suggestion and not a, I don't want them to sure. log this as a bug? Sure. Um, not right now, but yes. Uh, You're going to log this that. as a bug? <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> you for want a rotating now, image? For now, for now I'm going to. So I'm going to just say call this as uh, um, rotating images. I can do a quick uh, inline annotation to say this would be great if I can actually bring a, Oh, nice. I'd like to do good. a balloon. Can I do a balloon? Uh, not, not yet. So, okay. right. So, and maybe I don't want to f get the screen and the pricing here, so I can actually wrap that oh, up. Oh, nice. And then basically go click on the screenshot. The yeah. fact that I've created the screenshot, it automatically captured it my timeline. Yes. And anything that I'm doing is at, is, is getting captured here. Right. So I can take additional notes for that matter. Okay. Um, starting on. Facebook or whatever. So I'm sort of taking my notes as I'm actually doing my right. expertise testing, and all of that is getting captured. Now, if I at this point, if I want to go create a bug, all the information that I've already captured or that I've already specified is automatically transferred to the bug. Okay. And now I can go create a new bug here, and say new one for rotating images. Right. And okay. I can. There's a bug in your spelling there. There we go. So I've got that as well in there. Right? And your uh, save button's a bit long, isn't it? Yeah. It's a long save button. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So um, so once we have, now the bug is created. Right. I can go look at the details of the bug. And yes. if I go pull that up, um, all the information is automatically captured into my bug work item form. And as you mentioned, whether it's a bug or a task or something else, you, sh you will have the capability as well. So here you see the full uh, um, image come up. That's what I love. That's that stops people from, rep you know, just Correct. sending an email with a subject bug yep. and a yep. screenshot, and you don't know context what they exactly. did, and it drives you crazy. Exactly. You spend so more time reproducing the problem. Right. So you've got all this in here. In addition, we have also captured the system information on where this was actually run. So I've captured the that it was on Chrome 46 and mm. the browser heightened width and the user agent information and mm. so on and so forth. Right. In addition, as I was mentioning at the beginning, your area path for the team, your iteration, the current iteration, all of that is also automatically captured for you. Okay, beautifully. Right. Uh -huh. So they don't have to do anything really, just install the Chrome extension and their Correct. report bugs. Uh -huh. Correct. And um, if you don't want uh, to use the simpler annotation and you have your own complex Snagit or some other yes. popular annotation tools, you can go integrate with that one as well. You can right click and sort of move your images back and forth and then bring it back. So Do you have Snagit installed? Could you show me? Uh, I that's have really Snagit important. installed. Okay. Because I love Snagit. Okay, let's see that. Uh, that's, I want my balloons. I always use my balloons. Sure. And uh, I can make my arrows a bit round. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. Okay, so let's actually go back here and, and go back to surface. And let's say I have, I want to take a screenshot of this one. Go back here, take a screenshot, and say this is a little complex one that I want to do some more stuff. Yes. And just save this off. Come in here, copy the image, come into copy from clipboard, and now I've got it in oh, right cool. here. And you use all your favorite stuff yes. from Snagit. Okay. Right? And then I can share this back onto clipboard, go in and create a bug, and I replace that one. Ah, right. right. So it's a little that bit uh, two-step two, two, two process, but yes. uh, 
It, you can use your popular tools accordingly. Right. You can also sort of. So I would wouldn't mind asking you. Yeah. I just like to set set it up in my config. I'd like to go in tools that tools little icon. Mm -hmm. Set up. You know, put the command line or whatever. Yeah. So there are a couple of challenges over there for doing that mm -hmm. uh, because this is a browser extension. You're oh. trying to connect to a desktop one. Right. So there are going to be challenges. So it's going to be a little bit. Uh, you yes, will have to sort I of see. come to the timeline, and then from there maybe update it. Great. Got right. it. Okay. So now I can file a new one from Snagit. Right, and I can save that off. So that's I also I have captured. wanted this for years, Ravi. Yeah. For years. This oh, is wonderful. awesome. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, the other one that I'm actually excited about is also, um, now let's say I've done the exploratory testing for how it appears on Chrome. Mm. But I want to see how it appears on a device, right? Um, so it's the same browser. Uh, so I can go click on this one, and we've got, we've worked with Perfecto Mobile, and now I and can actually. And Perfecto? Uh, this is a cloud pro uh, cloud uh, device provider. Right. So um, I have to get an account with them first. Correct. Correct. Right. So you have if you don't have an account, you can actually sign up from here. Okay. And if I click on the new user, you actually they have a, a special going with regards to people coming in and joining in. You you get fifty hours per month free. Right. That where you can actually use the devices as well. Right. Okay. Right? So if I go back here and come back, and. Password. Now, what I what you see is a list of devices that are available for yeah. me. I can maybe quickly search for maybe iPad here yep. and pick iPad Mini, okay. Nino, and launch the device. Wow, well, that's great. Uh, what's happening is now it has and now it's connecting to Perfecto Mobile in the cloud and bringing the device up for me. And if you notice my extension, whatever that I was doing previously, in all the timelines and all the bugs that I filed. Continuing to work across device across my browser instances as well. Right. Right. So once this comes up, there you go. And let's say I'm actually testing the testing this on Safari on iPad. I open the same site, and because I've already brow I was browsing here, so I can actually go back and forth here. And let's say I found a bug on this one as well, right? So I can actually take a screenshot now from here. Exact same way that I was doing for my Chrome uh, browser. I can take a screenshot. I can annotate. Do all the stuff that I mentioned about. And when I'm done, that shows up here accordingly. That is a great right? way to test the mobile device. Yeah. So now the, the other one is let me say new bug from Perfecto, right? And I take some more notes here. Right? I have. We also capture where it was actually the image was captured from. Let's say I um, more more notes, right? And while doing this, for some reason, the browser crashes, right? You're so going to kill it. I'm going to go kill Chrome, snag, uh, Chrome right? And Chrome is, and it's gone. Now, what was hap whatever was going on in my normally session? Normally, Microsoft demos, that happens when they're not expecting it. Sorry? Normally, no, normally <laughs> that happens when, when a presenter's Exa not expecting it. I know, exactly. So it's, it's gone. So now my, uh, my browser is back up. I go click on the extension, and wow. you see all the information which is right there. All my notes, the title, the timeline, everything is sort of persisted for you. Okay. So your focus on continuing to do exploratory testing is not impacted by problems that the, the, that the underlying system itself could be coming up. Mm -hmm. So now I can say new perfecto after crash. Right, and can save that off, and I'm done with my testing. Now if I want to switch over to something else, I, it's a quick change for me. I can go change my server that I'm actually connecting to, right? And with one click, I make. In this case, it's authenticating. Oh, there's an authentication problem, but anyway, you get a quick view of how you can actually change over into different account and right. then try start testing for that. So while staying in one place, yep. you're able to sort of focus on what you're wanting to do mm. without having to worry about the installation, the acquisition, the or to get into it, simple, quick to use, and good going. So there's really not a, a good use to, if you're just doing exploratory testing, you don't need to open MTM, Microsoft Test Manager, anymore. That is correct. That is correct. Wow, that is awesome. Yep. And, and in addition, we will actually be uh, doing a lot more over here with regards to, uh, this is just the first mm. version, so obviously we will have additional mm. capabilities mm. coming in, whether it is all the clicks that I'm right. sort of t capturing from yep. an action log, the video that I'm actually going after. So the, those, those are the things which are on the backlog. Right. The traceability that you did talk about, yes. that's another one that's actually yes. coming in. Yes, because you, you know, as I said before, yep. um, before the interview we were talking and I said, 
on my test manager, uh, sorry, on, on, on my sprint, when I'm just looking at mm -hmm. sprint, I just want to click explore yeah, absolutely. per PBI. Yep. And um, as a product donor, I want to mm -hmm. come to and look at my backlog and mm -hmm. quickly see, have they all been tested by someone? Yep. And then when we discover during the sprint review a problem, mm -hmm. I want to quickly click a button and see what did they actually test. I want to watch what they actually tested very quickly, like a very fast mm -hmm. replay. That's an interesting mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. um, what what we are, what I've got for now, I mean, what's coming up for now is, yeah, from your board, from your user story board or your features backlog board, you get just like you have this mm -hmm. add task, you would yep. have another button, so say do exploratory, yep. and that's your launch point for doing all, everything else. Ah. And the fact that I launched from this particular story yes. automatically has a traceability linked in. Ah. What you talked about, the next mm. set of things, good ideas. Yes. We'll, we'll think more about yes. it. Yes, all right, don't worry, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, that's pretty much everything you wanted to show? Yeah, that was the that main thing awesome. about it. I got to thank you so much. Thank you, sir. I'm so grateful for you putting these features in. Yeah. I think when you look at the amount of usage from you know, a lot of Scrum teams sp specifically, mm -hmm. I know that there's a lot of companies out there that do their testing really seriously, right. and they will still want to use MTM. Yep. Absolutely. But for the for the, the quick people, the mm -hmm. efficient people, <laughs> they just want to you Now, you, you actually don't even make me go into the test tab anymore. Everything's done in context of the work tab. Yep. Yeah, I'm really, really grateful. I have a little present for you. Um, there's a few things in here, but uh, what you will find is some Tim Tams. Here's a little sample of one of them. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you'll enjoy my, those. My son loves that. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? You know about them? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, that'll go nicely with chai. Thank you. Thank you, Ravi. Thank you. And with that, this is Adam Kogan signing off for SSW TV.